know his name. <laughs> you, you've attacked him, I've seen now. I didn't know that you attacked so many people. Now you know. But he actually- He's very proud. He's very proud of all the Muslims he attacked. Mashallah, anyways. He showed that you shared a tweet last week, which was fictitious and was, was actually photoshopped. And I think this is that contradiction that concerns me. The second was that somehow- I didn't share any photoshopped image. Do you mean a meme? I shared a meme. These people don't understand memes. That's the problem. They're illiterate. So they think if you share a meme, like with a thought bubble coming out of someone's mouth, like, oh, he, he's Photoshopping images to make it seem. Yes, yes, Daniel. You are the meme Mufti. Okay, that's you. You're the meme muf Mufti. You have Mufti Mink, Mufti Munir, and Mufti Meme. That's you. Like, how do you take such pride in your understanding of memes while also being ignorant of Islam? Like, how you do that, okay? So you're using your bully platform to rally your incel audience against, you know, actual scholars. Umar Suleiman, Suhaib Webb, like actual, actual Islamic scholarship. Sajid, I got my issues with him, but at least he studied Islam. Can you say that you studied Islam? Give us one hadith in Arabic from beginning to end. And these are the dimwits, you know, who think that are giving victory Islam by their ability to make and share memes. Mufti meme. Can you, can you imagine the audacity? Like these people don't have no concept of the day of judgment, Yom Kiyama, anything. But I digress. Let's keep watching, y'all. Let's keep watching. Like we're saying things that we're not. It's a meme. It's supposed to be ironic. It's supposed to be sardonic. It's supposed to be facetious. That that you are. Yes, that you are. That's the point. You just don't understand memes. I guess you're not. Oh, so hey, all these years you tried to be relevant with the youth. You try to cite Mary J. Blige and Drake and take selfies with Drake, go to a Lupe concert, retweet Playboy. You try to be so relevant, but now you don't understand memes, Grandpa. Get with the times. The youth are all about memes. Aren't, don't you want American Islam? Memes are very relevant culturally. You need to get with the times. These are your Islamic heroes in 2023. This is why we can't have old boomers as our imams. We need the fresh blood. That statement right there that he just made right there, this one right here, l l let's rewind that, y'all. Listen to what he said. Culturally, you need to get with the times. This is, this is why we can't have old boomers as our imams. We need the fresh blood. That statement right there, that is all you need as proof that he's Ruwaybada. The same Ruwaybada that the Prophet said something he predicted. This is all the proof that you need. The Prophet said something he said, that Allah doesn't take away knowledge by taking away from the hearts of the people, but he takes it away by the death of religious learned men until none of them remain. And they will take as their leaders, the ignorant who when consulted will give their fatah without knowledge and they will go astray and they will lead the people astray. These ignorant youth, the prophet says something, he also said that an older man came to talk to the Prophet and the people were hesitant to make room for him. The Prophet said, he is not from one of us who does not have mercy on our young and does not respect our elders. Listen, listen again. Surely you need to get with the times. This is, this is why we can't have old boomers as our imams. We need the fresh blood. This is, these are the people that are leading the Muslims in 2023. The Mufti memes, forget Mufti Mink, forget Mufti Munir, let's follow Mufti meme. Forget respecting our elders, kick our elders out of the mimbars and put these types, the ones who haven't studied. And as much as disagreements I have with Suhaib Webb, Suhaib Webb, Ashari and all, is better than a thousand, even more than a thousand Daniel Hakikuchus. These are the people you're going to put at the helm. You're going to give them the mics and your ears and your hearts. And to speak like this to our elders so that our youth can learn to speak like this to our elders, these folks. But I digress because we are here talking about Jordan Peterson and Andrew Tate. We're going to rewind this again. Look at this. Look, look what he's saying. Look, he's saying to Suhaib Webb. Cite Mary J. Blige and Drake and take selfies with Drake. Go to a Lupe concert, retweet Playboy. You try to be so relevant, but now you don't understand. Try to be relevant, right? Right, Daniel? The hypocrisy is thick. These people are just some hardcore hypocrites. Hard, hard, hardcore. Hypocrites with mics and, and cameras. And y'all listen to him. About a thousands you listen to him. Talking to, to that, like that to his elder. Won't even give him the, the respect of being an elder and a scholar. And proud and boastful that, yes, I talked about all these 
Muslim scholars. I'm so happy. Look at here. Also, Daniel Hukikuchi, you can't make this crap up. Watch this, y'all. Brother Andrew became the most famous person on the internet because he unapologetically attacked feminism and the liberal world order. That is what made him unique and propelled him to the pinnacles of fame. And that is also what seems to have made him realize that Islam is the true solution to feminism and the liberal world. Is this not like a shameless show of what he's accusing Suhaib of doing? Absolutely shameless world order christianity can't do it these other religions can't do it islam is the only solution and now there's potential for millions to follow him this shows that the did you hear that millions to follow who again there's potential for me millions to follow who you can't make this crap up like how 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 did we get to this level this is absolutely pathetic and embarrassing and demeaning not follow islam not follow the Prophet Muhammad Sallam. Millions to follow Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate, who Jordan Peterson said what about him? He said he's what? He's pimpy. The watered down, sugar coated dawa that bends over backwards to appease feminists and liberals is dead. There is no bigger evidence for how ineffective that approach is than Andrew Tate. Can you imagine? The same person that said that also said this he tried to cite mary j blige and drake and take selfies with drake go to a lupe concert retweet playboy you try to be so relevant but now you don't understand memes grandpa do i have to say it but wait there's more the same guy who said that like bruh what are you talking about right now these dudes man the same guy who said all that right blasting suhaib webb Calling him grandpa and stuff. Look at this. Look. Get with the times. The youth are all about memes. Aren't the Mufti meme. Mufti meme. Don't you want American Islam? Memes are very relevant culturally. You need to get with the times. This is this is why we can't have old boomers as our imams. We need the fresh blood. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. You're too much reading. Hundreds of thousands of incels watching this thinking it's Islam. This, this is Islam. This stuff, the white supremacist, the Nazi enthusiast, the disrespecter of scholarship and the disrespecter of elders in our community, open disrespecter, and the proud meme maker and sharer. Ibn Asakir rahimahullah, he said, no, oh my brother, may Allah grant us and you his pleasure and make us from those who have awe and fear of him as he should be feared. Indeed, the flesh of the scholars is poisonous. And Allah's way of disclosing the hidden affairs of those who diminish their worth is well known. Those people who like to talk about scholars will eventually end up like this or worse. But honestly, in all my years of being Muslim, this is the worst case I've ever seen because this should be a no brainer, which shows the absolute ignorance of the Muslims. That their Islam to them is like a joke. It's like entertainment. It's something that you do as a hobby. You get me? It's something Islam for these folks is something that you go to YouTube and watch a one minute clip and, a, and maybe, you know, a debate or a roast or something like that. That's what they think Islam is, this stuff here. And so they can't differentiate. So it's easy for them to push people like Andrew Tate. It's easy for them to push people like Jordan Peterson. And now there's trouble in paradise. Because Jordan Peterson outmoraled all of you. And we called it. From day one, we called it. 